Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. My name's John Garrison. And I'm Nicholas Chung. Today's Tuesday, September 8th, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is a B day. Tomorrow is an A day with LS1 and advisory. Over the next two weeks, several college admissions officers will be coming to Chantilly to host information sessions. Sign up and more information are on Navion Student or in the weekly Chantilly College and Career Newsletter. Late buses will start running on September 9th and continue every Monday and Thursday. The buses will leave campus at 440 and they will be outside door 11. Hero Club, or Human Equal Rights Organization, is having an interest meeting today after school in room 138. With over 3,000 people coming to school every day, traffic has been worse than ever. With the new school year comes new traffic problems. We talked to the security staff and students to see what went wrong in the first week of school and how it's improving. The first week of school last year, you know, as you guys already know, you know, traffic was a disaster. It was pretty terrible. Uh, I, I got in the building, like, like, I was in the school parking lot about 7.50, but there was no, like, any traffic control, so I had to get back out and wait, like, 20 more minutes to get back in. I was late to class, like, 20 minutes late. So one of the reasons why out of many reasons is because uh, the traffic light right here, if you see behind me, they didn't tweak the light so that coming out of the parking lot, the green light stays on longer and the left turn coming into the school wasn't uh, staying on long like it was supposed to do. The lights would cycle shorter, which backed up traffic and we had buses lined up on Stringfellow as well as other vehicles that were waiting to come into Chantilly High School. And VDOT was supposed to be doing that every, uh, they do that for every school year. So I contacted them, had them come out the day of, and then tweaked it. So now traffic's flowing a little better. Uh, the police department has a Virginia Department of Transportation liaison, and they have a direct contact with VDOT, and they can manage those types of uh, requests from us. Right now we have a shortage of bus drivers. Uh, last year during the pandemic, a lot of them retired. So they're trying to hire new office, uh, new bus drivers, and it's, it's really hard to hire part-time bus drivers. You know, everybody wants a full-time job, right? So, so all the buses are doubling back and forth. They're, they're dropping kids off, and they're coming back, picking them up and dropping them off again, So, which is causing another issue. Yes, the traffic has improved. I mean, there are a lot of uh, students now that look like they're taking a bus. Some are um, riding their bicycles to school, which are encouraging. It's flowing so much better. And all the administration, me, security, we're all working on it, so it, it will get better. We hope that traffic will continue to improve this year. This has been Jameson Brewer, Pankaj Rafaru, and Edward Paris for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been John Garrison and Nicholas Chung, reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.